Yesterday I told you about the Maldives, how the island nation is debt trapped by China and is suffering because of Chinese loans. Tonight I have another case study for you, Tajikistan. It makes for a classic example of how China is trying to grab land by debt trapping smaller countries. Let me explain. This is the map of China. Look outside it. These lands belong to China too, or so China wants the world to believe. Beijing wants Ladakh from India. It already calls the shots in Nepal. Beijing claims Cherkip Gompa, Du, Dungmar and several other regions from Bhutan. China wants parts of Laos. It is fighting Vietnam for Parasil and Spratly Islands. Beijing has its eyes on North Korea's Baek Du Mountains. China is fighting South Korea in the South China Sea. Beijing claims parts of Russia too. It would be a shame for Tajikistan to be an exception. Well, thank God it's not. There's something Beijing wants from Tajikistan too. The Pamir region. That's 45% of Tajikistan's territory, almost half the country. Why does China want half of another country? Well, the dragon says it always belonged to it. You know, historically, like many parts of Laos and Vietnam, just like Ladakh, just like the Wuhan virus was never made in China, it's China's well-known skill with alternative facts. That's what's at play. One Chinese historian recently wrote an article. He said China lost this region during the last years of the Qin dynasty. Pamir was outside China 128 years due to the pressure of the world powers. Words of Cho Yao Lu. We ran a research on this so-called historian and found nothing. What he is claiming is that 45% of Tajikistan belongs to China, very much in line with what Beijing has always believed. In 2011, China forced Tajikistan to cede 1,000 square kilometers of Pamir land to Beijing. This was 5.5% of the total land China wants to grab. The dragon kept fighting for the remaining 94.5%, the rest of it. In 2019, Washington Post ran a front page story on Chinese security presence in this region. The article quoted a Chinese soldier who said the troops have been in the region for three to four years. It isn't just about history, we can tell you. There's economics at play, too. China is trying to buy the Pamir region by debt trapping to Shanbei. Tajikistan joined the Belt and Road Initiative in the year 2017. At least 350 Chinese companies operate in this country. 350. As of this year, Beijing owns over half of Tajikistan's external debt. It's around 35.9% of the country's GDP. In the past, Tajikistan had paid off debts to China by ceding mining rights. Well, China is hoping that the Pamir region may be next. It is already publishing articles to push this narrative. This article in Baidu points out that China has shelled out $7 billion for Tajikistan. It hints at a repeat of the 2011 case where they returned the Pamirs to us because they're grateful for China's help. That's what they said. We told you about the plight of the Maldives yesterday. Tajikistan's situation, we can tell you, is worse. It allowed China to build border posts and airports in this region. And this is a lesson for all the countries taking Chinese loans. Learn from Tajikistan or be ready to part with your Pamir.